Well, hello there, curl friends, and welcome back to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm back with uh, week eight, Sunday, of my rehabilitation. Tonight we do uh, the moisturizing and then the deep conditioning. I've taken out the braids. I've wet it a little because it's actually hot right now, so I figured I'd go ahead and get a little moisturized with my little pink spray bottle from the Dollar Tree. These things work really well. Look at the force of the water coming out of here. I really like this one. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead, jump right in, get started. As you know, we are doing the, I'm almost out of this little hair food thing. And it's week eight, so it, what, two months, or it will be two months at the end of this week. Um, I had to make another batch of this. I'm almost out of that on batch two. And I'm well stocked on the hair grease because you guys saw that I had uh, purchased quite a bit of that. Um, and this is, so yeah, this one I don't use as much. Um, I just put that on top to kind of hold everything down after I do it. So let's go ahead and get started while my hair is dripping wet. And let's make this go, oh, henna, the henna update. Oh, and we gotta show you the spot. See, I'm rushing, so I'm trying to get everything done so quickly. But yeah, you can see the henna is about to, not about to, it's already starting to show itself. Um, let me turn around and show you Baldy. Okay, so, and then you see the hair. Looking pretty moisturized. I feel like it's um, uh, taking in water a lot better. I feel like, um, oh yeah, and let's look at the edges here. Gotta get those edges in there. I feel like this side, is worse than the other side. Let's see. I wonder why that is. Or are they equally as bad? Maybe they're equally as bad. But anyways. So yeah, so there's all the updates on everything. And now we're just going to jump into it. I really don't have anything much to talk about. Um, I've run out of boring conversation, so I figure maybe tonight, unless I can ramble myself into through this video with, uh, you know, sweet nothings in your ear, I can do that, but I really don't have anything to talk about. I thought I did. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump in. I know I was telling you about the product. Oh, this thing is in my ear. Okay. Yeah, so I was just showing you the product, where I was with the product, and um, I'm trying to be consistent with the Jamaican black castor oil around the edges, but I've been kind of slacking off on that, doing it maybe once a day. Some days I'm missing because I need to take some of this bottle right here and put it in another bottle so I can have it in my other bathroom that I am in. I'm only in this bathroom when I'm doing my hair and so I need to keep some of that uh, castor oil in my other bathroom that I use on a more regular basis and then maybe I can be a little bit better with my consistency in using it. Um, I have had to do a couple of in-betweens with just the um, the solution, just you know, re-moisturizing with the spray bottle solution, just because it's been kind of hot and my hair has felt a little dry because of the heat waves we've been having here in sunny Southern Cali. So I have done that. 
a couple times, maybe once or twice, just an in-between session to keep that moisture in my hair because I don't want it to ever dry out or feel completely dry. So that's something that I've done different as well. And as you see, I'm going through this as usual really quick. You guys notice this right here, like I have nothing in that section. I noticed that on camera when I'm editing. So that's like a whole chunk, that's that temple area. But there's nothing between here and here. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But yeah, we got a lot of work to do. So I guess I'm gonna be on camera doing this for the next couple of years till all that grows back the way it should. Now, something that I've also noticed, it kind of snuck up on me, but um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, I'm, I, I'm taking iron tablets. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned that um, because I was told by my doctors that uh, I have low, a low iron count, which I felt could be contributing to you know, my hair thinning out like this. So I've been taking iron like every day and I can tell a difference. But I was, I'm bringing that up to say that I believe that iron is what is responsible for the crazy growth in my fingernails. Look at all that. And this is product for my hair. I'll just put it back in there. Um, but yeah, the iron tablets are making my nails grow like crazy. I've never had 10 nails last this long. I've always complained that they don't. Like whenever I would get 10 nails that weren't, weren't even half this length, which is not super strong compared to what they're wearing, all these coffin and stiletto and oval shaped and almond shaped nails. I mean, this is nothing to that, but just for my natural nails, for me, it's really long. And um, I've always complained about whenever I would get 10 nails that would have even half this length, they would just start breaking off. But it just dawned on me, I'm like, I think the iron, <laughs> taking that iron every day is helping my nails grow because that's the only thing I'm doing different. I can't attribute that to anything I'm doing to my hair. So it has to be those iron peels that's just making my nails grow and they're a lot stronger um, than they've ever been. Like I've jammed them a couple times because I'm really rough with my hands because I'm always so busy doing something. I'm not used to t catering to fingernails. So you know, I'll reach for some and bang like that. And I notice my nails that would normally break and shatter into pieces are not doing that. And I'm just like, now I have been putting polish on them since I have them and I have tons of fingernail polish so I've been polishing them and using that uh, Miracle Nail product from the Dollar Tree along with the uh, super dry so I've been putting the polish on in the Miracle Nail and then using the Miracle Nail as a base coat in between I mean the base coat and a top coat so I'll do it as a base coat a top coat and then I will, um, and I put the polish on in between, and and then I do the uh, what is it called? Super dry, quick dry. I'll put that on top, and that makes my nails polish last about a good week, seven days for like your natural nails and just polished and I have been trying to put on gloves while I'm doing the dishes to just kind of you know run with it since I have them I'm like I may as well try to maintain so so far so good I have literally it's probably been I know my hands got all this product on it but it's probably been a month or so now with these nails and they just keep growing so that's something that I've noticed uh, in taking those iron pills and like I said that's the only thing that I've changed other than this process that I'm doing with my hair so I have to attribute it to the iron pills so my body 
I guess truly was low on iron. What is that? Yeah, low on iron. And I don't I have to see what else, you know, from my hair. I think I can tell a little from my hair, but I don't want to jump to conclusions with my hair too fast. Um, I would like to give that at least four to six months before I want to say anything about that because it to me it's just going to take some time to get back to where it's supposed to be. I do feel like it's easier to see the progress though with henna. Now do you guys agree with that? I think so. I think it's easier to see when it's all one color. So the next henna session I guess would be more revealing as far as any growth that I may have had. Not growth in length, but growth in this uh, midsection filling in a little better. But I feel like I'm on the right track. And for my hair to have been hinted, if like normally, my hair would feel really dry right now because I would not have done anything after my henna session. I just would have allowed it to continue to dry out. But right now it feels really good, it feels really soft, and it feels very moisturized. And I can feel it uh, soaking in the products a lot uh, better than it did in the past versus products just sitting on top or the water just dripping off, not really uh, absorbing into my hair. I can totally feel a difference now with that. And the texture that I get, well I guess because it's in braids too, but look at that texture. That's some pretty good texture. Um, steel. I don't, I feel like I have, I never got texture this good before. So, I overall feel very good. I mean, of course none of this is hurting anything. So let's just start there. You can't hurt it. It can only help and make things better. And that is definitely what is happening, in my opinion. But it's still going to be some time before I can get a positive confirmation that this spot is closing in. And the best way to tell is when this, because it was kind of like a triangle to me in the pictures that I've seen before, is um, once that fills in and it's just like a straight, uh, part like this is all the way down nice and thin then I will really feel like I have made some progress like some real real progress so right now I am making progress with nothing else just doing something good for my hair but when I mean progress I mean a complete change in um, my hair health my hair situation my hair density my edges you know all of that to wear because I was looking at some of my old videos my old hair videos and I never thought that my hair was thick it was never really thick to me it was always like a medium density but to be able to see that I mean I could see it now better looking back at my old videos when I was freshly like 10 years ago I think it was about 2010 in the video I was watching the other day and I was uh, doing the Kim tube thing and I, I was on camera and I had just I think I had just done twists or something or just put the Kim tube solution in there and I was showing my hair parting it and all of this was just like <coughs> excuse me all of this up here was <coughs> in my throat it was nice and thick the parts were thin like they're supposed to be and I was just like wow that's where I'm trying to get back to so again that was one of the um, benefits of having video like a video diary of your hair and what it used to look like so you can do that type of comparison go back and see where you actually used to be and I can see looking back when it started to thin out as well. Um, you could tell. You could tell on camera. 
so that's why now whenever I'm on camera I try to definitely show all the weak areas like how I point this out and stuff so I can see I can have a good point of reference moving forward on my progress and being able to see it on camera because the camera really does help to see what you can't see especially in the back areas so um but yeah that was interesting looking at those uh old videos of mine and seeing my hair and seeing the condition of my hair um and what you know it gives me something to work towards and to know that my hair can achieve because it was there once before in other words it's not like i'm setting an unrealistic goal for myself it's like i've been here before so i'm just trying to get back to where i was so that helps me to see that okay i can get there because i was there before and even though I know that, but you know what I'm saying, I'm just using that as an example to, um, even if you just did pictures, like still pictures, that's still better than nothing. So if you guys, and you should do it because you just never know when it might come in handy. You know, when you like, I've never would have anticipated that my hair would have been in this condition. So to be able to look back and see what I can work towards regaining is very helpful. So thank goodness I have all of that footage of what my hair looked like. Or even if I had to tell a doctor or something, you know, my hair used to be thick, it used to be this. However, I, it's like I could just show the videos, I could just show the pictures and it makes the, the explanation easier or to anybody who you wanted to show or tell how what your hair used to do or what it used to look like you know or how long it used to be whatever whatever the condition of your hair makes it easier to share because the pictures tell the story so I am glad that I have that and when I'm editing because sometimes editing <laughs> editing is a struggle when you're working full-time you got to walk the dog, you got to come home and cook dinner, you got to trim the bushes, clean the pool, uh, what else? Clean the house. <sighs> what else did I say? Oh, record the videos, edit the videos, and then do it all over again. It's a challenge sometimes. So, so it's a challenge sometimes of doing all that. Um, I don't know how I just got off on that tangent. I was trying to say something, but I forgot my point. Getting old. <laughs> I used to tease my mother about that. Like, you just, like, how could you forget something so quickly? It's funny how as you get older, things change and you understand some of the things you used to tease your parents about or the seniors in your life where you used to laugh. And now you experience some of these things on your own. It ain't so funny, but it is funny. You have to laugh about it. It's all a part of living. All a part of living and getting older. Everybody, you keep on living, everybody's gonna go through it. Everybody's gonna experience it. So just know that youngins out there, while you laughing and joking, your time is coming. Yes, it is. Now, you guys, can you tell I have literally nothing to talk about tonight? Because I'm just saying anything like you guys are like literally here. But I predicted that my henna would only last about a week before it would start to, the gray would start to resurface. So I was pretty, I was right. I mean, it's not bad. But I'm surprised though, because I would have thought more around the edges, I would see it coming out. I see it a little here, but I thought I would see it more up in this area. But so I'm surprised that it's not coming out more on the edges, but instead on the parts. So maybe that's something that might change as well if I keep it, you know, as it's getting healthier. Because I tell you, 
those edges would definitely be popping out in almost instantly what or what I felt to be was like instantly which is why I felt like there's no point in me worrying about putting henna in my hair because it's just going to um, it's just gonna grow out very quickly so on that note I think I've stalled you all the way through I was prepared to just come on here <clears throat> do my hair in silence and just put music um, to this video I don't know is that if that is something that would be super boring to watch but it I guess just wouldn't feel like we were doing our hair together it would just be like a boring <laughs> video of me just doing my hair and by the way I am convinced that this side and I say this every time but this side is definitely longer than this side. I can just feel it when I'm braiding this braid. I can feel it. It just has a whole different feel and everything. Even though when I pull them down, they're like the same length. But for some reason, unless it's because I'm right-handed and this is easier for me to braid lower, maybe that's what it is because this is a little higher. Let's see. This one starts kind of right here. Oh, that might be what it is be where I'm starting the braid. All right, so scrap that. They're probably the same. Because I every time I get to that, I'm like, it just feels like it's longer. So now I'm going to decondition. But before I do that, I have to do the final, final step. And that is my Jamaican black castor oil uh, around the edge. And on the edge and down the middle part and on my spot on Baldy. I hope I'm not hurting Baldy's feelings by calling him Baldy. But yeah, so here's my, you know what, let me wipe some of this off my hand. See, this stuff gets all over my walls too. That's why you want to have like a a rag that you can just use, a little raggedy rag that you can use to just wipe things off very, you know, in the moment so you don't have things sliding through your hands and um, messing up your walls. All right, so let's get on with the castor oil. Yeah, I'm going to definitely, after I do this, I'm going to... Um, pour some in another bottle and put it in my other bathroom so I can do the morning and night like I said. I started off doing it but when I brought it in here to be with my other products that's when I fell off because it wasn't in my other bathroom. So I, I know now that I need to keep it in my other bathroom for me to be consistent with that. So yeah just make sure I get it and this actually feels nice on my hair because it's it's nice and thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. Castor oil is a very thick oil. And it's like pillowy soft on my hair. Like, I feel it like the texture of it, it's so thick it like latches on to my hair. And it likes it. It likes it. So, I want to really be consistent with this, like I said, because I think it can be a game changer and catch up with that spot and get that spot, um, you know, accelerate that even more than what I'm, a little bit that I am getting, you know, so hopefully, because it feels good when I put it on, it's such a thick oil, it really latches onto the hair, you know, and the hair absorbs it. Um, so, I want to make sure that I don't forget to do it every day. Or I could just go buy another jar too, but I think that jar was like 15 bucks or something. So in lieu of that, I might just, like I said, find me another one to pour some in because it should last a while. Alright, so I'm done. That's my session for today. Now it's time to go and deep condition. So I'm not going to come back tonight. I mean tonight. I'm not going to come back on video just to show you the cap. I'm going to go and heat it up in the microwave 
and then put it on my hair and get my 45 to 50 minute deep condition session and while that's happening I'm gonna hop in the shower and be ready for bed because it's you know work day tomorrow and I want to be rested and it's actually not the wee hours of the morning it's only like eight o'clock so I'm ahead of the game so I want to ride that out and maybe ooh, maybe allow myself to watch a movie or something tonight before I actually do turn in so thanks for joining me tonight uh, curl friends and you know take care of your hair let's take care of our hair together and you know leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns if you can tell any difference do you feel like I'm making any progress um, is this something that you're doing along with me um, and hit the like button if you like this video series and don't forget to subscribe on that note I will say goodbye good night good morning good evening whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you in the next one goodbye